So uh, the very first thing we did uh, was decide what it is that we wanted to do. And, um, and I've just given you some things there that you can certainly read uh, and think about. You're going to hear a lot today about truthful storytelling and what does that mean and, um, and the impact that that has on us as performers um, and what we're looking for in our students. When I sat down to write the aims, um, uh, which was not something that I enjoy, I have to say, uh, but I really looked at the end product. If I had a student who arrived for year one at the tertiary level and said to me, uh, I've, I have a licentiate in musical theatre, what would I expect to hear and see uh, from this candidate? And that's really what I put there. A commanding vocal performance. Well, I would expect that th the vast majority of vocal issues had been sorted and that those things were in order. W would everything be sorted? Probably not. But I would expect that the vast majority of those fundamentals would certainly be in order. Uh, an auth authentic sense of individual expression and creativity. That's terribly important, terribly important. You're going to hear that a lot today uh, and it really does lie at the heart of everything that we do. What we don't want is duplicates of everybody else and uh, YouTube performances that have been duplicated uh, in the exam situation. What I'm interested in is individuals, that person, that one person who is an individual coming into the room and taking a piece which sh might have been done a thousand times but showing me something new that only they can do because that's them performing it their own way. And that's tricky in an exam situation and how do examiners mark that and, and I understand all the questions going on in your heads right now. I know I can feel it already. Uh, th we'll get a chance to talk about that later. But the individual and an individual interpretation of uh, the music is what we're most interested in. A synthesis of voice, body and mind. We absolutely agree that musical theatre is a multidisciplinary art form. We acknowledge that uh, you can't talk about musical theatre without talking about the synthesis of, of music, dance and drama. We acknowledge that. Um, but uh, in terms of uh, uh, the AMEB, this is absolutely a singing syllabus. Uh, even though it is very different to uh, the singing syllabus and the leisure syllabus, as you will see today. So it is a, um, it is a, a separate syllabus, but uh, at its heart, it's still a singing syllabus with um, uh, a lot of work in uh, drama and acting um, in there, but certainly not dance. I don't know about you, I don't cover dance in my studio, and my dance skills, which I have to tell you are sensational, <laughs> are rusty. So uh, I'll leave that to the proper dance people um, and concentrate on the voice and acting. A superior connection to text and the nuances of language and meaning. Again, terribly important in this syllabus. Text is the driving force of musical theatre and so everything that we do has that as at, at its foundation. Um, uh, a sophisticated and layered characterization, Dramatic complexity delivered with simplicity and ease. Uh, we want a performer who, with nothing, just themselves, a bare room, no props or costumes or anything like that, a piano, me standing in front of you and me looking at you and delivering a story as truthfully and as simply as I possibly can. That's the heart of the syllabus and if a performer can do that, they can do anything. <laughs> 